Good morning, and welcome to Wet AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. A massive winter storm choking parts of the East Coast has reportedly left three dead. The storm has dumped heavy snow on the Northeast, causing hundreds of traffic accidents across several states. Pennsylvania State Police say two people died Wednesday in a crash involving over 30 vehicles on Interstate 80 in Clinton County. Virginia State Police say a 19-year-old man died Wednesday in a single vehicle crash on Interstate 81 in Pulaski, in Pulaski County. In New York City, six people were injured in a pileup on the Henry Hudson Parkway in the Bronx. In Maryland, State Police reported over 260 crashes during the storm. Daily coronavirus deaths in the United States are breaking records. The COVID tracking project recorded 3,400 COVID-related deaths yesterday. That pushed the death toll in the United States past 307,000. 307, coronavirus hospitalizations are also surging with more than 113,000 people battling the virus in the hospital. While the first vaccines rolled out this week, it's not expected to impact the death rate for some time. The Iowa Department of Public Health has announced the federal government will send up to 30% fewer doses of COVID vaccine to Iowa than previously expected. A statement released by the agency indicated it would take some time for state officials to adjust distribution plans. Earlier in the day, Acting Iowa Department of Public Health Director Kelly Garcia said the state was poised to move quickly once doses of the vaccine arrive. The agency will post a running tally of how many Iowans have been vaccinated in the state's coronavirus tracking website, along with information about the vaccines that are available. The now scrapped plans have been up to 154,000 health care workers and 59,000 nursing home residents and staff to get doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines expected to arrive this month. Tyson Foods has announced the firing of seven managers over allegations they bet on how many of the company's employees would contract COVID-19 at its Waterloo plant. The allegations came to light during a lawsuit filed by the son of a Tyson employee who died. The company says an independent investigation led to the firing of the bosses who had, been, who had already been suspended without pay. The announcement was made Wednesday while company officials were in Waterloo for talks with team members. Former worker, former worker Isidir, Is, 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 Isidro Fernandez died from COVID-19 complications in April. His son filed the suit. When we come back, David Little will take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Christina from Accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call a car. That's a smart idea. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Sir Ian McKellen is one of the first celebrities to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The 81-year-old Lord of the Rings actor was given the first of two doses at London's Queen Mary's University Hospital on Wednesday. McKellen said, it's a very special day. I feel euphoric. After receiving the vaccine, he encouraged others to get vaccinated, adding, you're having it not just for yourself, but for people who you are close to. You're doing it to you're doing your bit for society. 
Atlantic City is auctioning off a chance to blow up one of President Donald Trump's former casinos. Mayor Marty Small said all the money raised will go to the city's Boys and Girls Club. One lucky bidder will get the chance to push the detonator on the January the 29th. The chief executive opened Trump Plaza in Atlantic City in 1984 before closing it in 2014. A small, small expects the auction will bring in a million dollars, more than just a small loan. Taking a look at today's weather, today we will see patchy fog and then some sun with a high of 36. Tonight, it will be mostly cloudy with a low of 24. And tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a high of 42. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming on our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.